right. Our lesson today, hi. Our lesson today is the law of cosines, okay? So <clears throat> cosines, when we do trig, cosine means adjacent over hypotenuse, but today it's a little bit different, a little extra. So just like the law of sines, the law of cosines can be used to find side lengths and angle measurements for any triangle. So I would use the law of cosines if all the sides are given. Okay, so law of cosines, that's one of its main distinguishing features. If all the sides are given, then that's why I would use the law of cosines. So here we go. If I don't know, now remember, lowercase a means a side, lowercase b means a side, lowercase c means a side. Capital letters in this regard mean angle measurements, all right? So when I'm given a triangle, all three sides are told to me. I can see all three sides, what their measures are. There's no x or anything. There could be an X, but first, here. If I want to know what the side A squared is, I would do, ready, this is a lie. It's got Pythagorean theorem in it. B squared plus C squared minus, stay with me. So whatever this A, let's say, if A was missing perhaps, I would multiply, add first the b squared plus c squared minus. Now, in my equation, after the equal sign is all b's and c's. Two times b side b times side c times, and then my calculator is cosine of angle a. This is a lot. If I don't know side a, one side, then I use the other two sides in my equation. So I don't know A. So I use first B squared plus C squared minus two times B times C times the angle opposite the side I don't know. Likewise, if I don't know B squared, I do a squared plus C squared minus, so the sides, the side I don't know, I add up the sides I do know minus two times the sides that I do know. Multiplied by the angle, cosine of the angle of opposite what I don't know. Last one, when I don't know a side, a side is X. The other two sides are given to me. I add the other two sides that I do know. Subtract two multiplied by the sides that I do know. And then cosine of the angle that I'm trying to find. Okay, so this needs to stay on the top of your paper. This is tricky because, well, as I scroll down, I'm going to need to um, erase all these, but it's okay. Let's do the first one together. So I'm given three sides, a seven, a 12, and an X. I'm given an angle. It doesn't matter which one's A, B, and C. I'm not going to say A equals B equals C equals. Nope. What I am going to do, the side that I don't know, X squared 
And then I do the sides that I do know and the angle that I do know. So the only thing on the left-hand side is my unknown. So it's the sides that I do know squared, seven squared plus 12 squared. So the sides that I do know squared kind of looks like Pythagorean theorem a little. Minus two times the sides that I do know. Multiply by the angle that I know, cosine of the angle that I know. Did you see it there? You have it? That's right. Oh, I have a calculator. Okay. All right. Here we go. 49 plus 144. Minus 2 times 7 times 12. 24 times 7 or 84 times 2, I mean, there's a lot. 168 cosine of 65. Okay. Again, your calculator might be able to do this all in one like long sentence. Hold on. I got a calculator that's in radians. I don't want it in radians. I'm going to switch to degree mode. Degree. There we go. Okay. So, um, one ninety three minus, and then I got to do this all like one sixty eight cosine sixty five. 70.9, it's like 80. If 70.99, please round it to 80. A hundred and, okay, wait, 113. Miss Grant, wouldn't it round to 71? Did I do it wrong? What did I do? I don't know, did I do it wrong? Cleared my calculator, bad idea. Oh, 71. Yep, good call. Okay. Well, square root both sides, right? Square root both sides. It's like basically just 11, right? So my missing side is 11. Uh, okay, I'm good. I'll do three of them on the front side and I'll do three of them where we have to find the angle measure. So right now I'm finding a missing side length. I have to scroll down. So I'm just assuming you're all staying with me with the pace. Okay. Ah, right? Got to erase. You guys have the formulas on top of your paper, so you're good. Okay. All right. Here's the side I don't know, right? I know 25 and I know 20. So it's the sides is squared, added together. 20 squared, I just do like smallest and bigger. I go in order, like I put 20 first because 20 is smaller than 25, you know? <clears throat> Minus two times 20 times 25, cosine of the angle that I do know, 108.
This is all calculator work now. Twenty times twenty is four hundred. Twenty-five times twenty-five is six hundred and twenty-five. Minus hmm. Fifty times twenty, I can do that, right? Twenty-five times two, fifty times twenty. Rearrange the numbers to make it mental math. Two times twenty-five is fifty. Fifty times twenty. A thousand cosine one oh eight. Okay. Um, a thousand twenty four hundred plus six twenty five is a thousand twenty five, obviously. And then let me do my math correctly this time, right? Cosine one hundred one oh eight. A thousand cosine one oh eight. This is, make sure I'm doing this right, yep. Minus, did you guys get negative 309? Watch the signs. Minus cosine, minus 1,000 cosine, but that was a negative number. So I'm subtracting a negative, which means I'm adding giant plus sign. Lots of rounding. If it's an easy number to round to, one, three, three, four. Um, like 36.5 square root both sides, right? Point 0.5, yep. Okay, question. Oh, no. All right, try and set up number three without my help. So in like 10 seconds, I'll check. Start ahead. 400 plus 625. You had to do this. So I did this separate in my calculator because I didn't want, I don't know if everybody's talking, can you just do it like from beginning to end, left to right? Oh, then do it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was 602, 138. Did you do minus 1,000 cosine? Yeah. Don't clear, don't clear. 400 plus 625 minus 1,000 times cost 100. You did cosine 65. Oh, that's probably why. Okay. Oh, yeah. So here's what yours should look like. Ready? X squared equals 17 squared plus 13 squared minus 2 times 17 times 13 cosine 34. Yours look like that? Hopefully, your calculator, you can just like put it in and then you're all good, you know? So 289 plus 169 minus, hold on, 442 cosine Let's do 366.4. It's hard to round that one a little. Uh, 
How are we doing so far? Five or oh, 1.6. <clears throat> Questions on one, two, or three? I still don't understand why we put the like, why we use minus two times uh, whatever the value. I separate them. You put them in your calculator from left to right, and you just go. Well, no, I'm you didn't like setting it up. So, like, we do x, uh, uh, x to the power of 2 to equal 17 to the power of 2 plus 13 to the power of 2. Then why do we do minus 2? Because uh, that's part of the formula. Oh, it is? I didn't see that. Up on top? Minus oh. 2 times oh, yeah. subtract. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So now I want to go, <clears throat> and if we don't know the angle measures, That means, check this out, before I turn over and start doing this, I don't know the angle measure, which means this is going to be cosine x. And this will be cosine of x, because I don't know the angle measure. So let's go to five and I'll set it up. Okay, here we go. I know of sides, the X is in the angle. So, here we go. Since this is the angle I don't know, this seven, everyone listening, hi. Since X is the angle I don't know, this seven is on the other side of the equal sign. This is the first number I write, seven squared. So instead of x squared, I have the value. And how did I know to pick the seven? I picked the seven because it was opposite the angle I don't know. And way over here, this is gonna say cosine of x, isn't it? Because I don't know x. So seven squared equals the other two sides squared. 11 squared plus 12 squared minus two times 11 times 12 times cosine of x. So your job is to move all other terms over to the left, except cosine of x. You want cosine of x alone, which means I'm going to have to do a lot of math and like subtract things over, divide things over. Lots of subtraction though. Here we go. 49. Why don't we just try to move the cosine of x to the other side and then we'll move uh, 7 uh, to the power of 2 to the other side instead of having to try to move it? Because this is our process. Because I have to figure out this is multiplied by this, so I have to divide this out to get rid of it because it was first multiplied. Oh, okay. So, um, I want to do 121 plus 144 minus, isn't 11 times 12, 132? Times 2, yeah. So 49 equals 265 minus 264 cosine of x. And remember, when I do a cosine of x, that means I don't know the angle, which means it's the inverse, second function or shift. Second function or shift. Okay, somebody tell me what I do next. I'm here. What do I do? Uh, 
No, we just add and subtract the values. Okay, let's pretend it was this. 8 equals 4 minus 2x. What are you going to do? We're going to move the 4 value. You move the 4 value, which means I move the 265. Okay. 49 minus 265. Negative 216 equals negative 264 cosine of x. Here's my rule. Divide by negative 264 both sides. BS, both sides. <clears throat> to get a decimal. A negative divided by a negative is a positive. And this is like repeated. Okay, ready? Do. Here's your calculator keystrokes. Second, right? Cosine, if you want to put the zero in front, I don't know, whatever, 0 0.81, you could put 81, 81, 81, you could put just a one. Second function, cosine, 0.81. Don't forget about the uh, decimal. Someone tell me what you got. 35.9. 35.1, yeah? Uh, 35.9. Um, okay, let's just do approximately 35 degrees. I got 35.1 because I didn't do 818. I just did 81. But if you do, eight, maybe if you do more, 81s, 81, 81, 81, 81, 81, 31. 35 degrees. 35, 36 degrees, that's fine. So this is 35 degrees. That's what I just found out. I'll say it again. When you need an angle measure, use, and it's the inverse, cosine of negative one, which is second function of whatever, cosine, sine, or if you don't know the angle, you use the printing above the button, the printing above the button, second function or shift. I want to do six, but I'm going to run out of room. This is all such good information. So sad to have to delete it. Such a bummer. Maybe I can decrease the size. I don't know, does that not help you? That doesn't help you. I'm gonna have to scroll down anyways. I might as well utilize my space. The directions are gonna be the same. I'm gonna move, leave this blue info up here, okay? I don't know this angle. This angle is opposite 35. 35 is the number that goes on the left side square. Because remember, way over here is going to be cosine of x. The angle, I don't know. 24 and 16 is what um, I do know. Times cosine of x. Okay, here we go. Um, Thirty-five squared. One, two, two, five. Sixteen squared. 
squared is 256. Point four squared is 576. Two times 16 times 24. Seven hundred and sixty-eight cosine of x. Move everything over except your cosine of x, which means you need to add these first. I need to add two hundred and fifty-six plus five hundred and seventy-six. Eight hundred one thousand two hundred and twenty-five equals. 832 minus 768 cosine of x. Okay. Subtract 832. Three hundred and ninety three equals negative seven hundred and sixty eight cosine of X. Isolate the cosine of X. Three hundred and ninety three divided by seven hundred and sixty eight. Okay, use the second function. Second cosine, negative, figure out how to get a negative in your math, or just know that the answer is gonna be, well, it's not gonna be a negative degree answer. You need to put the negative in the um, parentheses. So are we doing the you're pressing second cosine a negative sign, not subtract, a negative yeah. point five one one seven. You should get a hundred and twenty point seven degrees. Negative sign, not subtraction sign. What questions do you have? Like ask away, please, 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 please. This is the last one I'm gonna do. Okay, just due to time. When you don't know an angle measure, it's the second function, cosine. When you're trying to solve for an X as an angle. And then I look and I say, does this angle look like it's 120 degrees? Yeah, it sure does, it's obtuse. It looks like it's 120. So I know that I'm on the right track. Your answer must make sense. Um, Miss Grant. Yeah. Um, will we ever round? Um, like you want to put 121 degrees? Uh, yeah, rounding is going to be okay with me. Sometimes the directions might be specific and say, <laughs> round to the nearest tenth. But this could even be 121 degrees, couldn't it? 
So I like 121 better because it more, is more accurate. Question? Uh, yeah. Uh, I thought that sometimes the angles aren't really accurate to what the image would like the picture they show you. Like, well, there could be that the drawing is not look perfect. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, I'm trying to make it so that you don't have inaccurate drawings, but you're right. Sometimes the drawings are just totally weird. I'm going to stop recording.